were name dropped in the new Odd Man Out episode, lol. What's Odd Man Out? The Odd Ones Out is a super wholesome animation channel. Which episode? Or they did the podcast and they mentioned me? Why did they mention me? They're talking about the new Jubilee. Oh, really? They were talking about Jubilee, not this. Okay, let's watch this Jubilee video. I'm Apparently, there's a new Jubilee. Five anti-vaxxers versus two fakes. And one of them is a Hasanabi head. No, don't say no. This is literally political Jubilee. And also... They, Juicers! Shut the f up! This isn't the f XQC broadcast, alright? And apparently one of the f people in there is a Hasanabi head, so suck my Vaccine. Anti vaccine. Anti vaccine. Anti vaccine. Anti vaccine. Anti vaccine. Anti vaccine. And we still got the Jordan Peterson debate with uh, Kyle Kalinsky later, okay? I don't really have too much to say about Elon Musk uh, pulling out of this deal at this moment. I got to read more about it. I am not vaccinated and I haven't been vaccinated and I have two kids. They haven't been vaccinated either. And that's all vaccines. Uh, the whole uh, COVID pandemic kind of woke me up. It feels like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti-vax or I haven't been vaccinated. I'm a pharmacist and when they put in with the COVID vaccination, I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes to how many things are in vaccines and how much we don't discuss them in the medical community. My anti is toward COVID vaccines. Actually, truth be told, the rapid test we just took was the first COVID test I've ever taken. <laughs> I refused to take a COVID test. The vaccine was pushed so that they could rig the election, and that's personally my belief. So you believe the election was rigged? I believe it was, yes. Cool. Growing up, I got most of my vaccines. However, I especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the I love this premise, though. I love this premise because it's like five freaks and then two people who can mask themselves as an anti-vaxxer. Now, in this video, I must figure out who the Hasanabi head is, okay? And also on top of that, I must figure out, I, I must make a lock on whether or not, because they're not gonna be the anti-vaxxer, whether or not they are able to take the most important lessons that I've imparted on you, which is how to behave like a hog and also how to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Because at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break and Hasanabi heads know that you no longer need to see those ads as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free. Um, with the Twitch Prime, that is. As long as you have an uh, Amazon Prime account connected to your Twitch account, you can get one free Prime subscription a month. Or you can get gifted a sub, if you're lucky, like Dynamic Jab 13 Thank you, Dynamic Jab 13 for the 10 gifted subs, allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads. Here's the woman ad break now. Let's continue. ...was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase of the vaccine mandate and having it required for the rest of the chain. Um, so I actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent mail order pharmacy. And she got me a gig there. And since then, things have been pretty chill. Since so I you left there. willingly. They didn't like ask you to leave? Yeah. So I used to actually, I started as a teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids. So that was really frustrating for me. Because but why does mother look like Fred Meister? Working with kids is a big passion of mine. And the fact that I was fired from my career just because of a personal choice is like really upsetting to me. Yeah. So that's why I'm very passionate about this issue now. I was actually asked to leave nursing school. I started for a month and then they accepted my religious exemption and then a month into it said, never mind. So yeah, I looked out because I go to I go to college in uh, Oregon. And uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything. But I was able to get the philosophical exemption. And then they wanted to test me weekly. And I was like, no, like, like I'm not doing that. And then um, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like, you're fine. Oh, it, oh, um, oh. It's it's <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Brian because in the waiting room, we were joking that his name was Brian and not Ryan. And then I... <laughs> That's okay. okay. He was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. There's no way you could get away with not having a COVID test. I feel like Nico's the Hasanabi head, by the way. Most people have gone through at least one by now. We've been like two years in. 
I could not believe that I got voted out first round. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's for sure. How has a yeah? Why do they why do they clap like his ass, dude? What the fuck? Relationships like friends and family. I had to miss a wedding that I was really excited for for one of my friends back in Indiana. She ultimately decided to ask everyone to be vaccinated because her grandparents were there, which I completely understood. But it was really heartbreaking to not be a part of that special day with her. Yeah. One side of my family refused to see me, so that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people tie certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not a right, a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I am not just someone who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I have contacted the virus before and um, multiple studies have shown that natural- Okay, bro, uh, this is this is real. If Jenna is the Hasanabe head, I'm going to be very surprised because this is like, this is exactly how a anti-vaxxer would talk. Natural immunity actually lasts longer as far as resilience to um, contacting COVID again. The right to our own body is um, the opposite of tyranny that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, I'm very libertarian leaning. So Heck my yeah. My ideas aren't like I line up with a Republican or Democrat. For me, it's yes. just we should have the ability to you know decide what we want to do. Yeah, and I just think it's scary too when the government starts to say like they're doing this for your own health and their safety. And yeah. it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health. Wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes <laughs> yeah, like exactly. years ago? Yeah. Like it, it like, just seemed what? Dude, okay, that is not a house in Abbey Head. That's a real anti-vaxxer. Because they did do that. They literally did that. That is too authentically idiotic to be someone who made that up. Oh my God. If this is, if that is literally the hot I'm going to lose it. That is so good. Genius, dude. Oh, the government would have banned cigarettes. It's like, oh wait, they did that. What are you talking about? Like a lot of censorship too, like to not be able to like find any other information about like side effects. I have a few friends who had like some bad side effects, but you can't, once you post that out there, it's censored. censored. Even yeah. the VAERS report, there's thousands of reports yes. of people with like yes. vaccine side effects and people pretend like that's not a reality. And I think it's interesting how they care about our health and everything, but they say nothing about nutrition, sunlight, yes. uh, w working out, going to the gym, getting outside and being around people that love you and stuff like that, like that's good for your health. Instead, they lock us in, in a room, <laughs> Uh, with like artificial lighting and paint and, and don't get sunlight and don't get to talk to people. Yeah, and then they put a mask on us, which is not healthy at all. Nico was throwing out a lot of buzzwords. Uh, he kept saying that he's he Nico is the hot head, I think. In pandemic, and I think he said jab. Very much so it looked like he was making a character and he was really trying to hit all the, the buttons. I was teaching first grade and a lot of those kids, because of the COVID lockdowns, they had never had any social experience for the past two years. And to act like it's pretty funny that this dude is like, uh, this is too unreasonable. What Nico is doing is too unreasonable. Like, bro, have you seen motherfuckers like you? Have you heard yourself? He's like, oh man, he's like throwing out terms like jab and pandemic. It's like, dog, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> that's exactly how like half the psychos talk. Oh no, we're actually the reasonable ones. He mentioned VAERS, bro. The vaccine, I think he's the Hassan Abbey head. I don't like know. Like that isn't detrimental to their social health, to their mental health. It's very frustrates me. What? San Bernardino County. Okay. I was saying, I personally don't think that it's really anybody's business if yeah. I've been vaccinated or not. And I don't think that I should not. Okay, I can call it out. But when I see an anti-vaxxer call him out, I don't like that because anti-vaxxers are stupid when i'm calling him out as the hasarabi head and the fake anti-vaxxer that's different than him being like oh the, oh i don't know uh, he's using a lot of terms that we would never use like oh like, shut the f up not be able to go certain places eat certain places or even enroll my kids in school because they haven't been vaccinated it's just not it's not fair and it's like really nobody's business it's my my health you know you said none of your, your kids don't have any vaccines no. right How i have that i've never them, had like going and getting into school uh, well they're three and two oh, months okay. so okay. she's they're not old enough yet but um yeah i haven't been vaccinated either and it, it hasn't affected me in any way um when i get sick i get sick for like one or two days and then i'm done yeah. i'm back healthy and i only get sick maybe like two times a year you said that you moved down to California? Yeah, yesterday. Well, I'm trying to get out. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of California. Yeah, no, so why did you yeah. move to California if it's so hard to go? For sure, projects? yeah. So I uh, lived in Texas for like 10 years. Uh, then I moved to Oregon for school. And then uh, I got a job offer um, as an internship here in California. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, yeah, 
all the mandates and everything I don't like, but I mean, it's California. It's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here. So I'm trying to switch with you. I want to go. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, dude. It's come on, Nico. What the fuck? You can't admit that. It's California, brother. What is wrong with you? You're supposed to say, I'm reluctantly here. What the fuck? I've already full blown. I think Nico is the Hassan Abihead and he is uh, cucking himself. Go to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I'll take I'll your own spot. I'll sure. take your own spot. Yeah. He went to university in Oregon and somehow wasn't required to get vaccinated there. Why would someone move from a more conservative area to a liberal? I think the concept of this is really funny, too, because it's like they're literally like who's authentically a dumbass and who's not like they are. They're like they're a bunch of dumbasses who are sitting around trying to figure out who is more authentically a dumbass. Like I'm a real dumbass and this mother doesn't seem like a real dumbass to me, you know, rural area if they were anti-vax. He got clapped because he foolishly admitted that he like wants to live in California. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Can I ask who everybody voted for in the elections? I voted for, oh, you're talking about the actual election? Yes. Oh, I voted for Trump. Again, like I'm libertarian. That isn't really my. Oh, that's interesting. A libertarian who voted for Donald Trump. That's so strange and unique. Please tell me more about how Donald Trump, a fascist police state, military state candidate that ran on a campaign of restricting freedom of movement and violated the non-aggression principle uh, numerous times. Tell me more about how that corresponds to your libertarian worldview. That's so sick. Oh, also, I'll have you know that he's the one who made, remember, made the vaccines personally, hand delivered them and urged people to take them. I'm not a Republican. But he definitely was a better choice over what we have now. Yeah, I'm libertarian as well, and I, I actually believe that neither of the candidates were good, and I did not feel comfortable supporting either of them, so I did not vote. Right, I didn't vote either. I haven't voted in like two years. I haven't voted either. I felt really uncomfortable with just how nasty everything was getting. Everything kept getting more increasingly cloudy. I felt like as the election came closer and closer, so I just didn't feel like I had enough information regarding i forgot that there's two fakes by the way i like that there's no longer one fake but two fakes the dynamic is better this way um Either i don't i can't tell who the second one is nico kind of gave himself away quickly i think that is the hasanabi head in the bunch ballot. i get that i mean they're both really divisive but like you know the effects matter and like seeing especially what's going on now i mean we might not like either of the candidates one of them getting in and we got to do our best you know to get the, the least of two evils i think that is important i mean i personally voted for trump um i actually worked on uh his campaign because i actually do um i don't like everything he says but i like his policies um and i believe that he allows people to live their lives and doesn't try to get involved with all of your business wait so you said you okay i can't tell if she's faking it or if she's actually this authentically dumb and she is the one who brought up the cigarette thing. So I literally can't tell. Either this person is like very good and is bringing up like new talking points that I haven't even like considered about how stupid. Like there are certain points that she brought up where I was like, damn, that's really dumb. I hadn't even thought about it like that. That's awesome. And and she keeps she's a gift that keeps on giving. You know what I mean? She keeps delivering fire. And I respect that while also simultaneously, uh, you know, I am in awe of her stupidity. So if she's actually faking it, then much respect. Straight up. Ugh. You worked on his campaign. Did you, you guys didn't have to get vaccinated for that or? So that was a 2016 was campaign. 2016. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I don't think he would have required it for the 2021, but I, I would work to the 2016 one. Okay. Didn't do anything for the 2020. Asabi, I wanted to ask you more about your stance because we mentioned earlier that in general, you don't feel like it's- Bro, Katie. Katie's like a pharmacist who's an anti-vaxxer and she's like sniffing at all the other ones. Like sometimes when I see people like Katie, I'm truly confused. I'm like, bro, you seem smart. Like what the f happened? Like there was just a gigantic breakdown somewhere and I don't know what it is. Like you legitimately seem smart. And I don't know if it's because uh, like, you know, it's the, it's the attractive paradox or whatever. It's anyone's business. We kind of touched on autonomy. I wanted to hear more about why you specifically decide not to vaccinate yourself and your children. So I grew up very like 
uh, religious, I guess you could say. In my belief, like vaccine. Dude, I don't. I think Asabi is the uh, other fake vaxer, by the way. She's not giving me like clear cut uh, anti vaxer signs because the reason why I'm saying that is because like usually I see like I mean we've seen a lot of like uh, black conservatives, anti vaxers, and whatever, and they're like they're they're usually way way more confident. Like most anti vaxers across the board are way way more confident and asabi on the other hand is like not you know popping off right now things are like a no-go like we don't believe that um we should put like poison in our bodies and like we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way so she was like the religion Religious reason? Is she thinking about this on the spot? And First Corinthians 2 5 says, you know, our faith shouldn't be trusted in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Exactly. And so for me, it's like, that doesn't mean that like man has ultimate wisdom, but like what they try to push of like, this is what. I'm not, that's not a 100% lock, boys. I'm not saying Asabi is a 100% lock. I'm just simply stating that it could be her. What you need to do, like that automatically throws red flags for me. He used a Bible verse for me that was like, okay, he believes in kind of like the same thing I believe in. Biblically speaking, for me, it's like you, back when, you know, in Pharaoh's, in those days, they were killing babies. And then with the vaccine, it's like, I, I just don't trust it because yeah. you're trying to mandate something kill that could possibly harm or kill someone. And As a pharmacist, like I know how much Big Pharma puts money in this The left for so money. long has been, oh, we're against Big Pharma. And then all of a sudden they jump in and it's like, Damn. Toxic masculinity, Mason. Let's go. You shut her ass up, dude. Look at that, baby. Man, explain that shit, brother. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You see that? Oh, we're against big pharma. And then all of a sudden they jump in and it's like, that. look. Arm or kill someone. And As a pharmacist, like I know how much big pharma puts money in this the constantly. for so long problem. has been. Oh, we're against. Love that. She loves Mason, by the way. She's like, yeah, white man, go ahead. Shut her ass up. Big pharma, and then all of a sudden they jump in, and it's like that. everyone needs to listen to what Pfizer says. Everyone needs to listen to what Moderna and J. Yeah. She said that she was very much into the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, with that, with that kind of interjection though, and mansplaining, maybe he might be a Hassan Abihead. You know what I'm saying? She kind of said she wasn't very political, and I feel like at this point, it is kind of um, a political statement if you are not vaccinated. What? Why'd she get clapped? If you feel I think it's because she was the one who looked the most alt, to be fair. I feel like the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. You need a majority vote, and since it's just the two of you, instead we're gonna ask, can you share your suspicions? Let's air it out and let's have a conversation. <laughs> I know it was Nico. That's number one. <laughs> yeah. Just because I think he was throwing out buzzwords. Like he developed a character. And he also talked it. about how he didn't have to get the vaccine at first in Oregon. Go to college in uh, Oregon. I was pretty confident it was Nico. I don't know who the other person would be. I don't suspect anyone else. I think it was Ryan too, honestly. Because yeah. Ryan, when he first said, this is the first COVID test I've ever taken. I trust you. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither of you guys voted. <laughs> Bro, bro, he literally admitted it. What do you mean? He said, I don't trust you because you look like you're researched a lot. You're too smart to be an anti-vaxxer. Okay, I guess Mason is the an I think Mason might be the f Yep. All right, Mason. Good job. Good job on that last second self-report, dude. He literally said, uh, you seem like you've researched a lot, so I don't really trust you that much. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither I love that Azabi is like, yeah, yeah, she is. She seems too smart to be an anti-vaxxer, unlike us. We're too dumb. You guys voted also in the election, you said, correct? Right. I do find right. that kind of interesting just because I feel like it is so polarized. I'm yeah. totally with you on that mentality, but like just being around a lot of libertarian circles, there are a lot of people and you guys- Okay, if this mother- the Hassan Abi head, I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. No shot. He seems so authentically I really, a judge. I honestly don't really have a strong political view, honestly. Where we are now in the world, it's it almost is a statement to not be vaccinated. It's too good. No shot, dude. It's like way too genuine to be. There's no shot. 
now it's not just like, oh, I wasn't provided enough information. I wasn't, you can go to CVS and get it for free. So you are kind of making a political statement whether you like it or not, if you aren't vaccinated. Um, I assume most of us don't agree with the mainstream media or like watch a lot of that because obviously there's a narrative that's pushed there. So I was gonna ask what type of media outlets do you guys I assume? I follow um, The Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Let Candace Ask Owens. Um, those are probably like- the You know who the f real Hazard hit is? The f Jubilee editor on this one. They really popped off. They're like making fun of libertarians and shit. What's going on? Jubilee used to never do that stuff. Well, I listen to the most. The um, Daily Wire I've had a, a little bit of trouble with because Ben Shapiro has really like promoted that. Yeah. yeah, I like I, I do like I Candace, disagree with that. Part, I like yeah. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off with Ben Shapiro, but I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push. No! And like, you should be able to choose what you want. No! Oh! Are you f joking? No! Dude, he's so good! He's so f good! I'm dead. I just got a vaccine injury, boys. Dude, he was so good. He was so good, he got me pissed off about how dumb his arguments were. That is brilliant, dude. The only time I suspected him was when he said... The only time I suspected him was when he said, you're, you're, you're well-researched. The only time I was like, okay, that's, that's kind of sus. It was because he literally said... You, you're, you're too well-researched to, to be an anti-vaxxer. Bro, libertarian school teacher? Come on, man. Dude, he, oh, God, he's so good. That was incredible. That was incredible. Dude, dude. Dude, this community is so awesome. I swear to God. We are, oh, God, we are breaking the minds of so many in, the, in this generation and the next. Holy f As soon as he cut the woman off, though, I was like, that's, that's Sasanabi head right there. Bro, we gotta run it back. We gotta run it back. Streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push a more like you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. Now I feel bad. I said he looks like Fred Meister. God damn it. You are way better looking than Fred Meister. King. Medical field. Um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. I think being anti vax is a big political statement. So that looked a little off to me. Wait, I didn't go back enough. Sorry. Like promoted vaccines. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I, do like I disagree with that part. I like, yeah. he, said, he said, I like Ben Shapiro, but he's too pro-vaccine. And she, yo, he's literally serving them, dude. He, he marinated them so hard. She's like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off with Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets. I I'm so proud. This is the proudest moment. This is one of the proudest moments of my streaming career, dude. Also, I'm not wrong. The editor also dropped that in there. Wow. Wow. That was beautiful. That was brilliant. That was beautiful, dude. I am so proud that this dude, Mason, was so good. Can we see the screenshot I used for Hank? Yeah, he just said it. Look. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. Listen, he was so good he was so good that he even debated me the only time the only time i thought he was suspicious was when he said like even robert malone mentioned like literally the moment leading up to him saying hank pecker when he brought robert malone up i was about to yell at him i literally was like up until this moment up until the hank pecker mentioned i was like oh no this mother definitely an anti-vaxxer what is hank pecker <clears throat> hank pecker ladies and gentlemen what is Hank Pecker, Matt? Now, many, many people have asked who Hank Pecker is, but the real question is what Hank Pecker stands for. That's right. Hold on one second. A lot of people thought that Hank Pecker was not a real character. A lot of people had the audacity to say that Hank Pecker is a libtard.
masquerading himself as a conservative. But what Hank Pecker is, is not a single man. Hank Pecker is just an idea. Hank Pecker loves guns. Hank Pecker loves babies. And Hank Pecker loves Jesus. That's right. One of the foremost authorities on anti-vaxxer rhetoric in the nation, Hank Pecker has taken all the libertarians to the Holy Land. Valhalla! Anti-vax Valhalla, baby. And that's right, Hank Pecker absolutely drives a Ford F-150 pickup truck. The real American patriot. Um, that is incredible, dude. I'm so glad mods actually clapped everyone that was trying to spoil this shit. Did he get a single vote the entire video? No, he dominated so hard. Dude, we really, we watch too much conservative commentary. Oh, this is it. One hand mono. Hank, sir, yes, sir. Hassan, I am Mason Law. Dude, that was incredible, dude. That was incredible. Oh my God, look at him. Look at this mother came in here. Hassan, I need you to watch Jubilee right now. Jubilee, Jubilee. That guy said Hank Pecker is so hot in Jubilee. Friday Jubilee, anti-vax Jubilee. Doesn't even mention that it's him. Doesn't even mention that it's him until the big reveal. King, King, I can't VIP him. We, have, we don't have enough VIP. We have no VIPs left. <clears throat> I've given it off to too many community members that are never here, unfortunately. What do you mean, bro? How did you sound that stupid? You have brain disease. That is incredible. Many of you are equipped with this skill. I can easily hide myself. If I didn't know, if, if I wasn't a recognizable figure, if I was not a recognizable figure, I could 100% hide myself amongst the hogs in an identical capacity. And you could too believe in yourself. You all have that brain rot. We watch more conservative commentary on this broadcast than we do liberal shit. You need us to make you a list of VIP chatters to unVIP. Like seriously, we know who isn't here. Yeah, let me know, and we'll unVIP them. Can you stop being proud and actually have uh, finished the video? No, I'm not gonna lie. Like it, it really threw me off. Uh, it really, dude, that was too good. I couldn't even. I thought it was Nico. So it's Mason and Nico that are the anti-vaxxers. Then, like I thought Nico was the the Hasanabi head, and I did not realize that. Okay, let's let's continue. There's a lot of different streamers and. Uh, media outlets that I think do push a more like you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. She worked in the medical field um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. Also, he did the Among Us strat of like calling out the other very clearly uh, non-anti-vaxxer. Your reaction was so funny. Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker, there's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push no! and more, like, you should be able to choose what you no! That's crazy. This was chat. I like Steven Crowder, Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. I mean, it was like, it was so good. Dude, that's awesome. I found a spare VIP slot. Wait, Lake McGroove timed out AOC for 60 seconds. What the f I'm going to leave a comment. I think being anti-vax is a big political statement. So that looked a little off to me. Bro, they didn't even mention him. I was pretty bummed. I thought I had spoken pretty well about my beliefs, so I was surprised. If the lights turn red, that means a mole is still in the box. They didn't even mention you him. Lose. That's crazy. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out. And you win.
He's still flexing. What a piece of shit. He's literally... Dude, this is unceremonious, okay? This is f***ed up. Bro, this is... He's literally... Dude, this is how... <laughs> It's not me. It's you. It's you. <laughs> it's got oh my god, blonde woman immediately blames the black lady? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I think it's mad. So on the count of three, I'm gonna ask the two moles to step out and reveal themselves. One, two. I was right, it was him and, and Mason, right? Oh shit, this dude is literally a anti-vaxxer? No way! Double jabated! Oh my god! No, he's just straight up a dumbass, bro. I should've I should have known it was Mason. Going into it, I was like, okay, he and I are in a uh, like we have an alliance, like we're good. He definitely sold me, so like, well done, my friend. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah, his eyes are his eyes are too close to one another. I thought he was like not good and convincing as an anti-vaxxer. Turns out he was just too stupid to even showcase that he was like a real anti-vaxxer, which is crazy. I knew Katie was a mole when she was a pharmacist. I'm very politically engaged. So I've had a lot of conversations with people just about, you know, whether or not people should get vaccines, whether or not there should be government mandates, that type of thing. I've heard a lot of opinions on both sides. My goal here was to kind of just be really subtle about it and to kind of just sow doubt in the vaccine, not really take a hard stance of like pandemic or like microchips, you know, that extreme wing, because I don't think anyone really here is on that, you know, spectrum. Honestly, I said that because I was trying to get some points because I thought like, if I say pandemic, I'm good to go. Yeah, um, I'm far. Like he's, <laughs> I literally got mad at him for calling out Bro, I literally got mad at him for calling out this dude for the same reasons that I was calling him out because I thought it was like inappropriate because that's how convincing of an anti-vaxxer he was that I was like, bitch, you're an anti-vaxxer. How dare you say, oh, people don't say pandemic. you. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Dude, this was incredible. This is the best Jubilee video we watched hands down. That's so good. He made me mad, bro. Oh my god, you grain name. F I swear to god. I just realized Mason rolled you as hard as casually explained it. Yeah, 100%. That's so good. Pharmacists, I actually was a part of the initial movement to vaccinate. I went to nursing homes, put vaccine in arms. Um, a big part of my experience with that is just seeing how much of a toll COVID has taken on my fellow healthcare workers. I have people that work in the ED and see how tragic that is. One of my closest friends actually lost her father to COVID. There's a lot of data in medicine that I question all the time. As a person of color and as a woman, I know how much the data is against people like me being treated. But the vaccine is something that I've seen time and time again that I don't typically question. The data just stands for me, so I stand with it. I, I really do understand why a lot of people are concerned with how far can government reach and what does that mean for the common people? Where do we draw the line? I think that is in genuinely a super important conversation to have. Most people who are skeptical of the vaccine are either consuming that from certain media outlets or just people that are around them really pushing that idea. If we as people who think vaccines are important don't actually interact with them, they're just kind of stuck in that bubble and that's not helpful for anybody. Look at the thumbnail of the video. Oh, they put the, they put the, they put them as the thumbnail. Yeah. That's how confident they were that they were like, literally, they just spoil it. Yeah, they just put the spoilers in there. Spoiler Andes, dude. That was incredible. On VIP AOC. There. AOC is no longer VIP on this channel. Instead, she's a moderator on this channel. Woo. We did it. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>